I watched Good Girls on NBC episode two, and it's still stupid. I'm I'm losing my faith in the show. I think I'm losing it. Um, the dude they hid in the head last week, they put him in a treehouse um, as a hostage. And then let's just go with that storyline first. Um, they put him in a the hostage. They really, um, then they tried to ransom him. Um, and found out just what happened. His grandma was rich and um, gave him this whole, gave him the, he gave them this whole speech. Like, you ain't got the balls to do it. You ain't got the balls to kill me type shit. And <clears throat> they didn't. And they go to the grandma's house and basically it was like, oh, we're from Medicaid. We clean up. Blah, blah, blah. It's a free service for your your bill, whatever. And they do it. And of course, the black chick is cleaning and they make a joke about it. Um, Christina Hendricks goes to the room. She actually finds the money. She sees like old pictures get sentimental, caught in her feelings. Never mind the fact that they're going to kill you. And she leaves the money. It's literally a bag of money in this old lady house behind a dresser. But okay, sure. Um, so they leave, and then she actually tells them, and then, well, she, they leave because she got a phone call that her ex was at the house mowing the grass, and she got pissed. So she left because of that. Um, and then she tells the crew, and they're like, what the hell, we're going to die. But he's at the house. But we need this money, bitch. Like, what do you, but he's at the house. He's mowing my grass. But they're like, but you won't know that if you're dead. Can we go back and get this money? But they don't go back. Like, the two don't go back. But whatever. <sighs> the funniest part was the husband, Christina Hendricks' husband. I can't think of his name. I want to say it's like Matthew or something. Um, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He was like supposed to sell this car to this guy. He had like a Celica or something. And then um, he was like, you know, sometimes you don't realize the good thing he got till it's gone. I mean, I thought I wanted this Corvette, but really, it was all about the Celica. All about the time spent in the back seat. Oh, my God, the memories you have with the kids in the car. Such good times. You need to hold on to them. Treasure them. Treasure your Celica. He was like, dude, do you work here? Or, like, are you selling cars? Is that your business? Because I came to buy a car. Maybe I need to talk to someone else. Like, the whole part was so funny. Um, and that was it. That was, like, maybe two minutes of 30-minute episode. That was funny. Um, and then the rest, that was like saying their goodbyes. They're like, they, like, so, so happens. The one girl stole, like, statues that just so happened to be worth money. Um, which didn't make any sense. That she didn't look like she even had pockets, let alone enough to fit things in her pocket. But, you know, maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I'm overthinking. Um... But yeah, um, it just, it's playing out like a bad season of weeds without the drugs. <laughs> but it might be drugs coming because they turn into mules next episode. So <sighs> the show is so predictable. Like I want it, I want it to work so bad, but it's just so predictable.